Hello and welcome to another Igloo Imaging tutorial. This one is on the eyedropper tool and some secret hidden typography features that I don't think many people know about. So here goes. Uh, the artboard is same as usual, 1920 by 1080 pixels if you want to follow along. Uh, I'm going to scoot down to an artboard. I've done some stuff on here. Now the first thing I've done is drawn some shapes, some rectangles if you want to follow along. Um, up in the underneath the rectangle tool, ellipse tool, whatever whatever your preset might be, just hit rectangle tool and draw yourself uh, a rectangle holding Alt and Shift to get a perfect square. And once you've done that, these are the ones we're going to copy the color with the eyedropper tool. I'm going to select the shape with V, so just press V and select it. And then I'm going to hit I, which is the shortcut to the eyedropper tool, or you can select it here from your toolbar. And then I want to copy this color, so I'm just going to click it. I'm going to do this, I'm going to press I, and I'm going to copy this stroke. And I'm going to do this, and press I, and copy the gradient. It will copy certain aspects. It wouldn't copy something like a drop shadow. You'd have to do that separately. It does work for all sorts of different shapes, just to prove it works. Also, I've grabbed a couple of images. This one is a color palette straight off Google. Um, if I come across that or a client sent me this as part of a mood board and said, I want to copy that, I could quickly just draw some shapes, hit one, press I, V, I, V, I, all the way across. And then I've got these colors. I can then just select them all with V and go over to swatches. If you can't see swatches, just go window and swatches. And then I can hit the little burger and add selected colors. And it just adds all these colors into my color palette. Same with a photograph. If the client liked this image and said, can you base your design on these colors? I can just color drop bits, V and I. Maybe part of the frame. Maybe part of the skin tone. And then with the gradient, if I wanted to copy this gradient, I have to do it slightly differently. So I'll color drop the middle and I'll drag this onto my swatches. I'll color drop this lighter sort of magenta band here and drag that onto swatches and then color drop the darker one and drag that onto the swatches. And then I can select the shape, hit gradient, and I can just drag these colors onto a gradient. So that's how to use the color dropper tool to get that. Now, you might already know that, and if you're after the hidden features, this is something that I use on a daily basis. When I'm typesetting stuff, if I'm doing a flyer or a post or something like that, um, I've got some nicely typeset copy here. There's a maybe a H1 title, H2 title, body copy, and a link. And this is my plain copy that I've got over here. Get rid of that underline even. So this plain copy is just Myriad Pro. This font over here is uh, Montserrat, some different weights. So all I would do is go to my copy, press T to select my main title. I then, I can't press I. If I press I, I'm gonna just delete it. So I then click on the eyedropper tool and you'll see it pop up, but we've still got the copy selected. And then I just tap the title. Then using the cursors, I can select the next heading and do that. Then I can use the cursors again, select the body copy, click that, and select the link and click that. That is one of the most useful features I've ever used in Illustrator. So the hidden features of the eyedropper tool. I hope that was useful. Please like and subscribe, and I'll see you again next time.